Hey guys, so today I'm showing you how I clean my makeup brushes and my sponges. I try to do that at least once a week and during the week I just pot clean. So I like to use my soap Azote that I buy from Azote that I buy from the uh, grocery store and baby mistelin. Um, that's basically what I use to get my brushes clean. So uh, let me show you what I do. So I uh, start with the sponges because they take a longer time to clean. I throw some of the baby mistelin in a bowl, a container or something, and I get the water really hot and I'm going to fill that up to the top and leave it so it can soak and soften up all the makeup in the sponges. When it comes to the brushes, there's really no science to it. I just empty everything out in the sink. I will rinse that jar out and I'm going to use that mat that I bought from Amazon. It helps. You could just use your hand as well. <laughs> there's no science to this. And I'm going to, the water is flowing, so it's making the brushes wet. That's the reason why I just dump them in the sink so they'll be kind of wet. And I'm going underneath the water with the brush and the soap. So I'm sort of like uh, rinsing and soaping it at the same time. And I put each brush to the side with the soap in it. I feel like that helps to soften up the makeup even more. So I'm giving it time to soak off a little bit before I rinse it off. And I basically do the same thing for all the brushes. I go back and forth. I like rinse and soap, rinse and soap at the same time. Add more soap, put it to the side. And I'm taking my time to do it actually the video is sped up so you know you still have to be careful with your uh, bristles on your brushes because you want to maintain them and have them last you as long as possible and that is one of the reasons why you have to clean your makeup brushes you need your brushes to last and you don't want any bacteria and germs and stuff getting on your skin it's gonna help you to maintain healthy skin as well so be sure that you're cleaning your brushes and sponges I typically clean my sponge every time I use it, which is maybe three, four times a week. Now I'm just taking the mat. Like I say, I usually have it stuck in the sink, but I just want to show you what I do. And I'm just rubbing off the soap, um, rubbing it off so that all the makeup and the soap comes off and I'm rinsing it. And as I'm rinsing, I'm using my hands to feel and make sure it's not uh, slippy or slippery or soapy still at everything comes off there's no residue left in the brushes and i'm also shaping the brushes at the same time the bristles with my hand so that it stays in place so that's basically what i do like there's no science said rub it off make sure feel touch make sure that everything gets off and then i shape them and just place them back into the glass jar Yeah, I'm just going over and shipping the bristles some more. I'm OCD, so, so I like seeing them neat and in place. <laughs> now I'm going to show you this too. This tool I use with foundations and cream. So what I do for those, because there's this, the stains are harder to remove. I use some dishwashing liquid and some olive oil, and I'm going to rub the foundation brush or any brush I use cream that's harder to come off because the oil helps to dissolve the foundation and any cream products and I rub it on the brush I'm going to rinse it off and then I'm going to go back in with my soap and soap it off again to get rid of any excess oil and any excess dirt this just helps the makeup to break up <laughs> that rhymed <laughs> makeup to break up <laughs> and i rub it all over the mat again until it's cleansed and i rinse it off make sure there's no residue and i'm gonna shape it with my hands and make sure the bristle stays in place and put that in the jar as well here i'm showing you it's cleansed compared to the other one i do the same thing with the other one so that's what i do for brushes that are stubborn <laughs> Now that the water has cooled, I'm going to uh, squeeze all the makeup out of the sponge. As you can see, the water is a very mucky. So I'm just squeezing, squeezing, making sure that everything comes off. I use Mistelin for my clothing as well. It's a very good uh, disinfectant. <laughs> um, 
and I saw Kiki Adams use mistelin for the sponges and I started doing this with it also makes it smell really nice and keeps it disinfected and gets deep in the sponge to get all the dust off so now I'm just filling that up again with very hot water I'm gonna leave that to cool off again and then squeeze squeeze until all the soap comes off the um, uh, makeup comes off and I'm going in with my soap and I'm going to wash and squeeze again because the sponges really suck and hold all the makeup in and sometimes you think they're clean and they're not so i go over with my soap and i'm going to squeeze squeeze until there's like i see the water running clear that's basically what i do as you can see it's, the water is dirty still so i do that until it's clean and clear and i'm going to fill that with hot water again and get it to soak a little bit and then when it cools, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just going to squeeze them and you see the water runs color. It's a process. You could actually leave those to soak for longer. If you have more time and stuff like that, it's, it wouldn't take that long. The, the mistolin really uh, breaks up the, um, the makeup. And as you can see, they are clean, very clean. And like I say, I clean my sponges every time I use them. Every time I use them, I clean them. So that's basically it that's how i clean my makeup uh, brushes and sponges um if you like those kind of videos please subscribe hit the bell like comment share all that it really helps me to grow here and let's continue to touch the world one face at a time and i'll see you in my next tutorial on sunday <laughs> thanks for watching bye